It's time for the game show sensation sweeping the History Day Nation. What's your point? Now here's your host, Mr. History. Welcome to What's Your Point, the game where students are challenged to come up with a thesis statement for a History Day topic. Now let's meet our contestants. First, we have Molly from Minnetonka. And here's Laurel from Shelbyville. And finally, Emily from White Bear Lake. Go Bears! Now here's Mr. History with today's theme and mystery topic. Hey kids, today our theme is Turning Points in History. And our topic is the Battle of Gettysburg. Okay scholars, you now have one minute to write your thesis statement. Pens ready? Begin. And time. Let's see how they did. Scholar number one, what's your point? The Battle of Gettysburg took place from July 1st to 3rd, 1863. The Union Army won the battle and killed or wounded thousands of Confederate soldiers. Okay. <laughs> Scholar number two, what's your point? After three days of fighting in July of 1863, the Union Army won the Battle of Gettysburg. This was an important turning point in the Civil War. Very good. <laughs> Scholar number three, what's your point? The Union victory at Gettysburg in July of 1863 was a critical turning point in the Civil War. Lee's decision to invade the North was a gamble that cost his army dearly in lives and equipment. After Gettysburg, the Confederates began a slow retreat that ended with Lee's surrender in the spring of 1865. Now, let's find our winner. Scholar number one, your thesis statement presents the key facts of the battle, but doesn't really address the theme or the importance of this event in history. Oh. Scholar number two, good job using the theme but we need to know why this is an important turning point in history. That means scholar number three, you're our winner. All right, your thesis statement presents the key facts, connects with the theme, and does a great job addressing why the Battle of Gettysburg was critical to the outcome of the Civil War. Way to go. That wraps up today's episode of What's Your Point? Now here's Mooster History with a final thought. Remember, kids, if your brain doesn't hurt, you're not thinking hard enough.